Hello everybody, Jordan here, and today we have another video for you guys, finally, finally another put up the video. No, not even desperate and waiting. So anyway, so we have some Atlanta news, so yeah, as you can see over here, Concord C is complete, although it's subject to change, it's complete, so yeah, we're going to review this, and we also have parts of the D concourse that is almost complete, so I'll show that as well. That's, that's a nice photo. So, as you can see, I last reviewed the Southwest Concourse, yes. So, the Delta side is now complete, so we can come in here, as we know. Um, I'm probably going to go in here and completely redo this interior, um, but, because when I went to Atlanta, there is no elevator right here. The elevator is way back there, so I feel stupid for putting it there. But if we go down the escalators, you know. do 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 Here you can see the tram. And I'm going to completely redo that. So, we can head on up. So, new lighting system. I like this a lot better than what I previously had. This little thing right here, I'm probably going to ditch it and get rid of it and redo this thing right here because this looks horrible. But enough of this stupid chit chat. Let's look at the Delta side with the Delta Jet. So firstly, we have a CRJ 700 pushing back from the gate. Had to create a slightly new gate for that. This, I saw this little area. It's kind of cute. So we have a MD90 over here. We have a 717 over here with this thing. There's a lot of extensions on this side of the terminal, which was kind of strange. Turn down my render distance a tad bit. We have another 717 over here because they have quite a lot. Of, excuse me. They have quite a few 717s over here. We have an MD88, and this is a little section. I when I went to Atlanta, actually, I need to realize I need to shorten this, so I need to make this come out less and make it smaller. We have an ERJ145. Yeah. Um, I still haven't made a video on these yet. Darn it, I need to do that. Yeah, but here's the ERJ. Since you guys really didn't get to see what it's like, you get to do that now. You come on in here. It's very small. It's very cramped and compact. This is kind of the seating arrangement I got. And then you have a lavatory back here. It's very small. Very small. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Those are emergency exits. So this is probably arriving to the gates or something. So over here, we have some gates. When I flew down to Albany, Georgia, we came out of this gate into CRJ. It was nice. Excuse me. I didn't know this, but this little section right here is an elevator, actually, so... So anyway, we can come on this side of the terminal. It's mostly empty, usually. So we have a MD... Excuse me, another 717. No, excuse me, a... Yeah, this is a 717, my bad. Arriving, a MD-88, pushing back. And that's mainly it. Pretty plain. Now, enough of this boring stuff. Let's check out the interior. Yes. So, tried to create, like, the Delta boarding design, whatever, here. So, I'm probably going to redo a lot of this. Like, the pillars, I'm not a big fan of, but I'm going to redo them. So, yep. We keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, this looks, looks pretty nice. So, yeah. No Delta banner. And etc. We have a pizza place. So, over here, there's shops and etc. And there's a restroom over here. So, yeah, we can come on down. So, yeah. I have a little shop right here. And stuff. Anyway, so I got a lot of like plain junk footage from Atlanta, so I can use that. I'm kind of excited to do the D concourse, which is over here. This concourse right here. So here's like your first sneak or reveal of it, I guess. So, firstly, coming in here, this part I'm going to completely redo because I didn't do this correctly at all. Because I I usually don't go to this concourse, but it's very beautiful up here. It's like there's a ups there's a um, there's another floor up there with restaurants. It's just beautiful up there. Um, over here I forget what they put, but it's something very nice, and I'm gonna probably invest not investigate, research how to make it look better. So as we know, we have gates, a CRJ 200 over here. Like I said, this is more of a CRJ section. Unfortunately, we're not really stepping into wide body territory yet, but. 
we have an American, not an American, a, another Delta MB-83, and another connection part right here. So another empty gate. And finally, our first airline that's not Southwest or Delta, a United ERJ. Finally. It, you don't know how glorious it felt to build something besides Southwest or Delta. Surprise, surprise. And I really don't know what this is, but apparently the Atlanta has some taxiway marking like this. So now we have another MD-90 for Delta. Over here we have, this is where the other airlines, and we have a Spirit Earth A321. And a beautiful livery. Just, just look at that. So yeah, Spirit Earth A321. Look around, looks nice, fancy. Fancy smancy. Oh. So, haven't finished a lot of this yet. Um, interior is not complete. This is more of a short update on what's happened with Atlanta. Um, just to recap, I will be going to Seattle and Los Angeles for the next week and a half, so I'll be able to check notifications, probably, but I won't be replying. Nah, that doesn't make sense. I'll be able to check notifications and reply, but I won't be able to film the q and I know you guys really want it. I do too, but when I get back, I'm going to try to see if I can cram in the Q&A before school starts and etc. So yeah, because once I get back, I'll have about a week and a half left, and I'll try to cram in that Q&A for you guys. So yeah, um, I'll see if I can do a trip report for when I go to Seattle. We're going to do some exciting stuff when we get over there. And in case you didn't know, this is what the decon course looks like from over here. I think this turned out really well. A lot better than what I originally intended, but I'll just, I'm just going to deal with it. So yeah. Uh, to recap, if you want to keep up with what's going on with my trip or whatever, just go to Google Plus to the community Minecraft Airplanes. This is where I post like literally everything. Um, for those who follow my Twitter, sorry, I rarely use Twitter. I barely know how to use it. I know it's a, it's very stupid. I don't really know how to use Twitter, but I just don't do it. So if you want to find out or keep up with update progress or whatever, just go to Google Plus to the community Minecraft Airplanes. I'll have a link to that in the description down below. We have regular building contests. You get to see previews of our aircraft and stuff because I'll post a preview to something like a month early on that before I actually make a video on it. Like this terminal, I posted this like two months earlier on the community. So, so yeah. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what? Hold on, hold on. Okay, um, you guys have always been requesting to see an Airbus A350. Now, we have built one, and yeah, it's just we haven't revealed it yet. So, once again, if you were on the community, you would have seen this because I released it. Oh, yeah, we're redoing the um, 777-9X. In case you don't remember, the first 777-9X we made was absolutely horrible. I think it's stupid and then that we also updated the 747s so I might do a video on that so yeah update 747 blah 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 and speaking of, here's the A330, because I really don't think my A330 video really represented these very well. So here you go, here's one of these. You know, we have the pylon, the wing, etc. I'm going to redo the interior, because a lot of these planes need to be redone. Excuse me, on the inside and stuff. It's a 200 for Delta. I'm really excited for the Aerosoft A330 to come out, because I'll probably be flying that constantly. Here's the 300 model, and there you go. Uh, A319. Here's an ERJ for Delta. Here's an ERJ with the radical winglets for United. Here is a Frontier A320 and their new livery with the Cardinal. And I just had to put Sammy the Squirrel on this one. Here's an A380 actually that we made. Um, the problem I have with this is the nose can be improved and the wings can be improved. And no, the tail cone's fine actually. Other than that, I say this is decent, so please do not like put judgment to this yet because I'm gonna redo the wings. I'm gonna make the wings because the A380 wings they feel like they slope downward towards the outside. So, so speaking of, where is that uh, A350? Here is the A350 for you guys. Like, if you're on the community, I post we built we built this like 
six months ago, not six months ago, like four months ago. Here's the A350. You know, with the nose, I could come up with. We could come up with winglets, engines. So yeah, landing gear. Did the most recent. Yeah, tried to research it. Tail cone, which is apparently very skinny. The wings, I believe, turned out very well. I kind of, I really like how those came out, especially with the winglet. So we can take a quick interior look. So, yeah, sorry that this is all white. Um, somebody, actually give me a quick second. I don't know who did this, but it's probably Caden, who just forgot to, to do, um, replace wool zero. So, yeah, bl blame this on Caden. So, yep, let's go over here, and boom. There you go, fixed interior. There you go, bada bing, bada boom, fixed interior. So, we can come over here and go inside the, for an interior look. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Here's the oh, Why? Caden, why? Caden, I thought you were better than this. Okay, so here's the flight deck for the A350. You know, we have our yoke, not our, our side six, and all of this rear seats back here. I never really understand how Airbus pilots do this. I, I don't know about you, but I cannot hold on to a side stick with my left hand. I mean, I, I probably could, but I can't do it very well, so I don't know how Airbus pilots do this. So we have this little, I don't know what I was thinking right there. So yeah, that's the A350 for you guys. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Downloads are coming soon. Um, and stuff. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Smack that like button for more Minecraft Madness. And check out all my other videos. And subscribe for cool, stupid stuff like this. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Uh, which will be either a trip report or something else. We're going to be redoing a lot of airplanes like this Q400. We're going to completely redo that. Um, here's our 737-200 that's been redone. A lot of things are going to get redone. A lot of new things are going to happen. You're going to see a new project soon coming up. Um, think about trying out a new giant aircraft because why not? So yeah, once again, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, punch the like button. Let's let's have a like goal. Let's see if we can get to three likes. I, I know it's really hard, people. I know it's hard, but we can do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.